So you guys seen the Dr. Disrespect versus Iferg 1v1. What if I told you something just happened, which makes the whole situation a lot more interesting? If you're not caught up with the situation between me and Dr. Disrespect, here's a quick rundown. Doc said this in 2019. Mobile gamers aren't real gamers. Nothing really came from it other than, I guess, a lot of support because it got a ton of likes. Whereas this year, he said this, which then made a bunch of mobile players reply to him. And obviously, I said I'd 1v1 him for $100,000 while he played on his PC and I played on my mobile device. There was dozens of articles written across the internet talking about what would go down if this happened how it would affect mobile gaming could there be more money involved everything but right now doc has fell silent he didn't accept the 1v1 for one hundred thousand dollars. in fact he's tried to stay away from the topic as much as possible the only thing that he said is that he wants to try and find out how to record on mobile but that wasn't the challenge however it seems like a new contender might be on the cards he goes by the name scump you may remember when we reacted to him, other pro and competitive players, a couple days ago. Well, Scum didn't even see him. Oh, that was really good. No way. He's going to get all three. What? So on the screen right now, you'll see Hex, Scump, Big Timer, and Bose. Bose, Big Timer, and Scump were all professional Call of Duty players at one point or still are. And Hex is like the CEO of Optic, or at least he was. And now he's joint CEO with NRG. Both massive esports organizations. Big Timer won a world championship and so did Scump. In this short podcast, they bring up the fact that I... I, a mobile kid. The mobile kid. Challenged Doc to a $100,000 1v1. And they said that they would take it without a doubt. Anyway, so either way, would you, I would accept accepted it. Yeah. 100 racks. I'm on my PC. I see a full monitor. This guy's blocking his own monitor with his, exactly. with his fingers. I don't know. I, th I think that's an easy yes. But then they kind of realized that mobile is maybe not as skillless as what they once thought. As they started to talk about Fortnite mobile and how they didn't really know the scene that well in Call of Duty mobile. I don't mean the flags or anything, but I was number one in Fortnite Mobile for a while. So maybe call me by my real name and not Mobile Kid. For real though, the disrespect. <laughs> Kid. The mobile kid. I don't even get a name. Anyway, they actually started laughing at Dr. Disrespect over the fact that he wouldn't accept the challenge. Wait, but he hasn't accepted the challenge yet? He, I don't think, he, not only really has he not accepted it, but he hasn't even talked about it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Which I kind of thought was a little funny because maybe they realize, along with us, that Dr. Disrespect would have no chance playing COD Mobile on PC while I played on a mobile device. No! But you know who said they would have a chance and definitely would not lose? Scump said that. Would you play on 400,000? Who, Doc or the mobile kid? Either one. I mean, I'd probably play both of them. Yeah? Yeah. I'm slide canceling the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that works? When I was 13 years old, Scump was my inspiration to play Call of Duty. In fact, I even mentioned him in a short documentary video around a year and a half ago saying how him and Nadeshot were the people that I watched the most when it came to gaming when I was growing up. So now to have him say that he could beat me on the platform that I am best at while he's also barely played on it, I'd really like to take this challenge. I think this would be one for the ages, but I definitely think we need to 1v1 Dr. Disrespect first. Because I believe me and Doc could really put forward a massive event if we collaborated forces to do this 1v1. And if it went well, I could definitely see a ton in the future between different mobile pros, console pros, and PC pros. Because it would open up the community to cross-platform collaborations, which is nothing but good. You could see a bunch of COD mobile partners going against a bunch of Call of Duty console partners, a bunch of pros going against the other pros. I mean, it opens up an entire world. But I'm interested to see what you guys think about this. Should I wait for Dr. Disrespect or should I try and challenge Scump, the world championship Call of Duty pro, often referred to as the king of COD? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to follow this storyline, live your life with purpose, and let's roll the outro. Bye.